What up, it's your boy BCD and we are back in the kitchen ready to do another slamming cocktail for you raging alcoholics. Let's go. So today what we're gonna do is take some gin, we're gonna take some seasonal fruit, like blackberries, we're gonna muddle the blackberries with some mint. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. And when we get that all mixed up and going all nicely, this is gonna be a great drink to kick off that New Year's spirit. So here I have my beloved Hendrix gin. This is awesome for a lot of reasons. There's actually some cucumber flavors in this gin, um, along with some rose, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna take Trader Joe's Triple Ginger Brew, which is basically, uh, another name for some fancy ginger ale. And, uh, and we're gonna top this off with, of course, some muddled blackberries, some refreshing mint, and some lime juice. Meld that all together and bam, you have yourself a solid cocktail. Let's go. All right, first things first, let's get some sour going. I have one lime. We're gonna just squeeze this juice out. Super easy. I'm gonna cut the base of that and we're gonna pop that into our fresh lime squeeze. Get all of that out. So that we want about one ounce of fresh lime juice. our lime juice. Second ingredient is gonna be some agave. And what we wanna do is get that golden ratio of two, one, one. That's two parts of alcohol or base spirit to one part sour to another one part of sweet. So this is our one part of sweet. We're gonna do an ounce of this, but I'm not gonna do a full ounce. I'm gonna do half an ounce of the actual agave in the measuring cup, and we're gonna fill the rest with water so it's not too sweet. We're gonna take our Mighty Whisk. This is the best whisk I've ever had. It's so convenient for anything you're doing, guys. That's it. That's a sweetener. Let's get that back into our mixing cup. And then finally, we have some gin. What we'll do is we'll take some of that fresh mint and pop in about eight to 10 leaves. Should be good. We get about eight or so blackberries like that. I'm gonna throw that in as well. And then now, let's give it a good muddle. The muddle is so important to have in your arsenal of cocktails because if you're doing fruits, if you're doing herbs, anything, any type of drink like this, oh man, having a good muddler just makes your life so easy, simple, pounds all that flavor out of all those fruits, melds everything into the alcohol. We're just gonna take this and smell it. Mm. Make sure it's all that fruity, minty gin that you get from your nose. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go ahead and get this shaken. Let's go ahead and drop that ice in. And we'll give it a big slam. Done. That ice cold glass going down. 
then what we're gonna do is just strain all this blackberry goodness right into the glass. And now for that ginger beer. Woo! Yes! Before we pour that in, let's just get a little bit more ice going in here. Just a couple of ice cubes, and then let's top off. Then what we want to do is just get a nice mint leaf right over the top, and then we'll smash it with a couple of blueberries. Get that nice ginger kick. The blackberries and gin muddled together with that refreshing mint. Man, I could drink this all day, guys. Recipe for this great cocktail is in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. I'll be rolling out more for you guys in the future. Time to go get lit with this drink. I am gonna go celebrate New Year's. I don't know about you guys and what you guys are doing, but I hope you guys have a happy New Year. This is BCD Good Life Cooking. Keep it vegan life. I'm out. Peace. It's done. I don't know if I can drink this right now. It's like 10 in the morning. I haven't had anything to eat yet, but I can't let this go to waste, you know what I'm saying? Later, guys.